In this series of lectures, we're going to introduce symmetry, in particular point group symmetry. We'll first introduce some concepts and leave till later why they're useful in chemistry. Maybe you know from other uh, courses that symmetry, symmetries can be useful, for example, when uh, describing uh, vibrations of molecules or uh, perhaps when integrating uh, various wave functions and so on. So we'll get to that in a little while. But first, let's uh, introduce symmetry. Perhaps many of you have already seen this. Uh, for those you haven't, uh, here goes. So uh, what we're going to talk about are point group symmetry. All right, so there's two general kinds of symmetry of use in um, chemistry. One is point group, and the other is space group. Now, for example, if you have, uh, say, some sort of crystal, let me draw a cubic crystal here. And here's some things here. And this cubic crystal will have some sort of symmetry. Uh, this is a cubic, cubic symmetry. In a point group, what you do is you uh, take various points in this crystal, in this case, uh, they'd be the atoms in a crystal lattice, and you move them from one place to another. But the crystal itself doesn't uh, uh, move. It just stays constant. On the other hand, in space group symmetry, here's my cube, which is seem to be leaning a little bit. Uh, in space group symmetry, what you do is uh, you include this kind of symmetry, but what happens is that things translate. So for example, that might translate from this point, uh, say over uh, that point in space to this point in space. And my, <laughs> I'm not an artist. Okay, so there we go. And so uh, that's what a space group is. So space group is where you actually go through space. And as you're going through space, you can rotate or reflect or whatever. So the point group is included in the space group. But the point group, uh, if you just consider the point group, that is uh, operations in such a way that the uh, actual molecule you're doing these uh, point group symmetry operations on, that doesn't change. It just stays constant. So you could say that there's like a center um, by which, a point by which all these things are, all these symmetry elements go through, and that uh, point would be like the center of mass in um, a uh, molecule. Center of mass doesn't change, although you can change the center of mass by translating the whole uh, molecule. Similarly here, point group, you have a point through which all symmetry operations go through with a net result that the actual uh, molecule that you're doing the point group operations on don't change. So that's what it means by point group. All right, so there are five kinds of point group symmetry elements. Okay, there's the identity, there's a point of inversion, point uh, of symmetry, um, inversion, a line of symmetry called a rotational axis, and a plane of symmetry called reflection. And then there's a combination of a rotation and reflection. So the identity, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, but essentially nothing happens there. There's no atoms that are moving in a molecule when you have the identity operator. Then you go from a point to a line to a plane, and then a combination of a line and a plane. That's one way to look at these hier hierarchy of uh, symmetry point elements. We can have also space group symmetry, which we talked about. All right, so when you uh, have a collection of symmetry elements, and which um, when you when these symmetry elements are applied to a molecule, the molecule itself doesn't move, it just stays in one particular point, that collection of symmetry elements is called a point group. All right. And um, there are, so point, we know what that means. A group, it's more than just a collection of things. A group is a mathematical concept and it has certain mathematical pro, um, properties and so on. So we're using this group in a mathematical sense here in addition to just a collection of things. All right, so with that uh, brief introduction to point group symmetry, we're going to go and talk in detail about these five symmetry elements that you find in point group symmetry.